I don't know. I've been hearing a lot of stories that I don't know if are vetted or what. I'm not making a John Swan video. I just made my points very apparent. I, I wrote like a little four page document, not because I wanted to write a document because I had 10 minutes to spare and Augie had to do a stream while I was writing a thing. But like the document basically explains what's in the call. I think Augie accidentally leaked that the call exists. It's never coming out. Uh, I think his John's reputation. I didn't, is an absolute I, I didn't fucking... talk about the call. Augie mentioned the call. Listen, most people know about the call. Yeah. Some people have heard the call. Listen, uh, John Swan was uh, absolutely decimated publicly on Twitter. If it needs oh, to come out, it needs to come out. But it was supposed to be like me protecting myself in case he had called me a liar. Can you tell and everybody I think I whose idea it was? What? I, I just want John. Oh, to yeah. Tommy told me to. Yeah, Tommy told me. I think you tell. I think I hear you telling me to do the call in the very beginning while I recording it. But I mean, yeah, I, I did what I had to do. I protected myself in a situation where I thought I needed to, and uh, he he obviously didn't push back on it. So I don't see a reason to release it to the public. I'm a, I actually respect you. A May I say what the tone of the call call was like, or no? I mean, yeah, you could say the tone of the first call was him lying for 10 minutes straight before he That's finally came money, at the last guess, minute, uh, and color. then uh, the tone of the second call when he came in and um, was can begging I, me to take it I down give, was can like I give my take or no manipulative. Uh, you can give your check, yeah. The first call is so f infuriating, not just because he's lying, because you you can you can sum that up to self preservation. It was lying with a smile. He knew that Nick knew, and it was it wasn't like no Nick no. It was like nah, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I think I'm just saying. Uh, I won't confirm or deny. And it was like sick, disgusting confidence. And Nick's saying, you know, you really put me out, out here. I wish I could. Here's what I really want to say. All right. There was a point in time when you got the confession and it, I'm, my stomach's starting to hurt. I'm, I'm getting back pain thinking about this. There was a point in time when you got him to confess and he said they're not going to leak on me anyway so it doesn't matter oh i already wrote that down it's in the document that okay. i gave to all i didn't know if i could do it for me i didn't want to do he, it for i said i said all right so you that, know that, that this I, I, I gotta is be not honest gonna... that, oh, sorry go ahead what? wait 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 nick when when this call happened what was the <coughs> thing that made you already like to know going into the conversation that he was already lying okay so i explained this all in the thing essentially the thing of events is turkey tom reaches out to me right and then he shows me a screenshot of a, uh, a person who I'm not going to name, but you can probably easily pretty fig uh, pretty much figure it out, um, yeah. talking to another small YouTuber saying that he had received a confession from last year. I'm looking at this going like, all right, well, I mean, granted this screenshot's real, which I'm going to go look into. Um, there's no fucking reason why this YouTuber would lie in this situation. There's none. Like, there's no affiliation with John's one that I knew of at the time. So I'm like, all right, this is at least a lead that I can pursue. It's not evidence, but it's a lead I can pursue. So I reached out to another person that I saw listed there. I talked to that person for a while. Um, that went a little bit, I got a little bit more information at that point. And then I eventually just reached out to Tro because I had known someone who had uh, just added him and he started DMing him like immediately. So I added Tro on Discord and I started DMing him. And Tro was totally gracious in explaining to me every single thing that happened uh, in like very detailed um, language. So now that I had spoken to Tro and I knew everything going in, uh, and he still wasn't going to post the screenshot because he didn't want to be involved in drama, which I don't blame him for. Yeah, uh, I was able to use the information he told me, which I don't think he was upset that I did. Um, and I was able to go directly to John Swan. And Close all I had to do was explain that I already knew what was going on. Uh, he fought me on it for about 10 minutes and then he caved and he finally explained it. And that's basically what happened. Um, this all happened within like a span of like three hours. Like the minute Tom called me, he's like, oh, I don't know if you want to know this. I'm like, yeah, I absolutely want to know this. I don't like, dude, I've been begging people to show me like definitive evidence that John Swan lied. And the evidence that uh, the person allegedly had was him confessing that he had done it. So it's not like you, it's not even arguable. I think John in the call yeah. went, I wasn't the one who typed that. I'm like, are you f brain dead? What was it, the 12 year old who typed it? He goes, reason. I don't know. He was, but he was, he's his tone. His, I, I want to make sure that, 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 that don't be dumping on a troll in the chat. He's, he helped. He's like, I, I don't, don't know. Tro is the only reason this information came out. And to be honest, I, I, there were enough people who could. If all I needed to know is that there was a confession that somebody had and that got the confession out of John, like legitimately, then all of these other people could have theoretically got it. Uh, the fact that it took a week or whatever just to like leak all the way to me for someone to do something about this is pretty.
pathetic. But this, and, this um, confession, is this like prior to the whole drama or is this like just a confession during No, the this happened. No, this is the night of. I put out the tweet like an hour later. I, I sat with uh, Tommy, Willie, and a few other people in call. We, we were trying to figure out the no, right no, way to I do mean, it. When, when John Swan, when, uh, when he sent the confession. Okay, when... John sent the confession to that person last year and they only realized they had it fairly why, recently. Why the, why the f*** would he have even responded to this drama? In the first, he place. probably forgot that he confessed to it. I, either or, or, well, or. Here's or. the deal. He, I, he knew that he was f***ed at some. He knew he was going to be f***ed at some point. Why did John do any of the things he did? Yeah. Why did he tweet, he "I'm uncancelable"? Because he's a f***ing nut job, dude. He's crazy. No, no. I, honestly, why. I believe. I no longer believe my original theory that me and Willie have. I believe he saw D Dream and said, "I am going to turn this into something," even though this is mega risky. Because I think he's that much of a psycho. No, just dude, I'm sorry. You're like in you have like you being uh, John have to be insane to write a 13 page Google document or eight page Google sociopaths document, are do insane. An audio book for it. They take incredible risks. Sound effects. To this it, one just didn't work. This one didn't no, work. No, I don't think it's a risk. I think it's like like how do you sit there? And if you're crazy, do that? if you're crazy, you think I can do this, man? How many guys do you know like that? I can do it. What's what I'm saying? Is I think he's he crazy. Actually, like crazy? Like I, I thought most of now you guys I'm were uh, talking to him before. Yeah. You know, bro, is he actually, like, I am second guessing every interaction I've ever had with him. Um, I, uh, dude, if people have issues with the lawsuit with Susie Lou, I told this to his face. I don't have a problem with you uh, wondering about the Susie Lou lawsuit now. I like I'm you know. really glad that I knew not to make a video on that one. <laughs> um, I, I, I don't have, I, I do. There are so many questions. With I had John Swan coming in on my Chris Hansen video that I'm, God help me, I didn't release it because I think I was really annoyed with the drama that happened with Keemstar and I just didn't want to make videos for like a month or whatever. So I didn't release the video. There was one part where I said, Hey, John, can you explain to me what happened in your call with the lady? Because I know you have credibility, so I would like it if you just explained it. And then people will obviously believe it because you oh, have credibility. Yeah. I have fucking nuked that footage off of my hard drive. I've <laughs> wiped him off of everything involving the situation. Oh my god, it's brutal! Like, I, dude, this guy was really fucking trustworthy. Yeah, well. And, and the, the only reason that I would that I was okay with it for a couple seconds before I thought to just delete the footage is it lined up with everything Edwin told me. But regardless, it's just like, yeah, I thought, all right, you're a trustworthy person. I don't think that you would lie about this or whatever, so I'll put you on for that. And then, yeah, I'm really glad that I decided not to release that video because I would have had to take it down 100%. Um, um, I see what Tommy is saying, like, in terms of him... You know, yeah, I, I, I don't think I don't think you get what I'm saying either. I'm I'm saying he's that crazy that he could rationalize it. Why it's that I can do this? That that's all. But I'm you saying. you said you didn't believe what you and Willie were no, saying. No, I don't. I no, what like... Willie, what me and Willie were initially saying was he panicked. I don't think he panicked. Oh no, no, yeah. I agree with you. That's yeah, yeah, I, I, I thought you. Yeah, you got, yeah, you guys. Yeah. That yeah, so we were yeah, we were yeah, on yeah, different yeah. wave. I thought I you. I thought you were disagreeing with the. Uh, no, 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 no. I I'm not trying to diagnose him on air. I did believe that when I said it, but just knowing all this other shit and it just hearing that phone call. I'm like, oh my god! Like yeah. it's, I gotta be honest with you. Like, I'm not gonna kid you. Like, if you listen to the phone call, it's like kind of frightening. He's there's not th there's none of this. Like, you figure you're cornered like this, right? Let's say you were a guy who made the mistake. Your reaction would be, uh, would be something like, I can't believe you're accusing me of this. I, I didn't do it. I told you I didn't do it. You, like, ah, uh, there's not. No, it was just like, no, no. If you no, know, then no, you know. No, you know, then you know. No. If you know, then you know. So I mean, spoken, I don't know. Spoken, spoken, like off, you know, without all this shit going on. Like, do you know how he normally speaks to people? Like, you know, is there like a comparison or? It wasn't much different than how he normally interacts with you. That's like he wasn't shook. He didn't get. He did not get shook up until he got nailed. He was not yeah. with that call. He wasn't shook up at all. He was very. It, it was almost well, like. Well, there was one point where he, uh, when I told him that the the message did exist, he went like. Uh, yeah, he got. He, oh, he got quiet. He got quiet. No, yeah. no, he like kind of like just started like stumbling over. His, he was about to say something and stumbled over all his words. That was funny. He really wasn't that phase though. Overall, you can't say that. Nope. Not overall. That's it. That's the thing. Was like so weird and frightening about it. The like, part I mean, that really got me is when he was more like going like, um, Nick, this wasn't the way. Nick, you shouldn't have done this. Nick, I understand if you never talk to me again, but why did you have to like debunk this? And I'm like, dude, do you not know who I am? Like, that's like my whole thing is like, I, 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 I listen, I'm not saying I'm trying to destroy corruption in the corporate world, but I, yeah. I am noticing that there's a lot of 
fucking corrupt people in these in this platform and like in this area. And I'm just trying to at least be somebody who says the truth, or at least what I believe at the time to be the truth. I don't want to sit uh, there I'm not and perfect. fucking get Nobody used is. by guys None of like us claim him. to be no, standing yeah. on our soapboxes. None of us claim to be like the moral truth of the or like the moral good of like anything. I see that argument levied a lot. I just try to tell the truth and uh, do as much research as I can to get there. That's all I do. I mean, we can't sit there and say trust us and then can look the other way. It's just that simple. I think it just comes yeah, down to that. Can't do that. No. I think I think we could like I could never fucking bury Jeff. I'm gonna I'd have to let somebody else do it, you know. But because like, he's known him for too long, and you're all gonna have to respect that. But you know, well, depending on what he did, I suppose. But I mean, yeah, like why why should Jeff have yeah. to repeat my bullshit? Why should Jeff have to protect me? By screwing up his own credibility and his own trust, you know, why should Nick have to do that? You should. That's the answer. I mean, it's, like it's, it's just like the people that reach out to me and say that like, hey, John's John's been screwing me over too, or John had like a falling out with my community it? too, and it's like everybody talks about all these things. It's insane that none of this could have gotten back to us sooner. Like especially when John's being pu publicly called out, especially when so many people claim they knew. I I am so thankful that the people who t like who told me information that I needed the night of did that thing because mm -hmm. like there were so many people who were just happy to keep this to themselves. And I think that's kind of scummy. Oh, yeah. It's not about, well, we saw that with the NCO. Model. We were, you know, I don't want to mention that John Swan was one of the people that was defending those fucks when you busted them last time. I guess I think we fucked his grift, but regardless, <laughs> it's like, it doesn't come down to a Minecraft mod it doesn't matter that it's dream it doesn't matter that like this was like a really petty thing everyone agrees it's really petty it matters that somebody who like claims to like do all this research and make all these good videos lied to such an extensive degree on a huge public platform in a situation that was like satirically over the top of something that you would like possibly see uh, i think he deserves every video that gets made on him uh, i wouldn't be surprised if more people make them i think people can understand why i'm probably gonna do what i can like to help people if they have any questions or if they need information they can totally come to me but i'm gonna start working on other things i think i'm done with this. yeah, yeah I, I, gave you. You the I gave you the confession you guys can do whatever you want. I got you. All right, man. Here you go. You got it right here. That's pretty much the whole story. Hey, there's a lot more information in this podcast. If you want to do a deep dive or make a video, I suggest you watch the entire thing. Click on the left box. That's what you like.